Fashion industry is driven by innovation. There is always a pressure on a fashion designer to create something new. And because of this requirement, design students often think that they are not creative enough for this job. Today I am going to tell you the secret formula of world class designers who are able to generate new ideas constantly. This formula is called Art of Permutation. Now by permutation I mean the possibility of mixing different components together to create something new. Just like in Indian music there are only 7 basic notes and the permutations of these can create thousands of melodies. Similarly a fashion designer also has only 4 basic components and by combining these they can create thousands of new styles. Now these components are also called elements of design and if a design student understand these four, they can create infinite new styles throughout their life. In this chapter we are going to learn about the elements of design. Any design in the world can be broken down into these five elements which is line, shape, form, texture and color. Elements of design serves as a foundation for the development and creation of all textiles and clothing product. Throughout history, artisans and designers have utilized the elements of design in a variety of ways to create a certain aesthetic. Across the discipline, the elements of design, line, space, shape, form, texture and color are used by every designer. The aim of this chapter is to understand elements of fashion design and develop design project. This is how visually elements of design will look like. You have line, then you have form, then you have color and you have texture. In this chapter, we are going to discuss shape and form, which are one of the most important element of design. First of all, we have to understand form. Form is an object having three dimensions, which are length, width and depth. The human body is a form and by viewing it analytically, its various perspectives are revealed. The human form changes visually with clothing, especially as fashion changes. Now we have to understand shape. Shape is two dimensional and it appears flat. It describes the outer dimension or contour of an object. Shape also encloses space and imparts a certain character to the object viewed. Through clothing design, the shape of a human body is often revealed in a natural way, but sometimes even distorted. The shape of clothing in human body communicates silently the message about the wearer. For example, a circle is a shape, but a ball is a form. Talking about shape and form with fashion, every fashion period a shape emerges slowly or evolves suddenly. Whatever it is, every period has a specific shape of garment which, once determined, can be modified and restyled for variation in design without changing the basic shape of the garment. It is either flare or tight, circular or straight, A-line or raglan. It has been observed that an easy fitting shape of the garment is easily accepted and has longevity to stay, whereas a tight fitting garment is generally short lived since it is suitable to only perfect figure types. It is therefore advisable to the designers that they choose an easy silhouette to keep on creating for a longer duration. 
understanding silhouette in fashion the term silhouette refers to the line of a dress or the garment overall shape silhouettes can be used to emphasize and alter a woman's shape to create a flattering illusion different dress silhouettes are designed to flatter different body types as well as meet the dress codes for different events Understanding different silhouettes can help you find the most flattering one for your body type. Now, these are all the silhouette, the shape in fashion design, triangle, inverted triangle. both the sides for a fashion designer understanding body shapes of human being is very important we can categorize body shapes into six categories triangle shape inverted triangle shape rectangle shape hourglass shape diamond shape and rounded shape besides these there are modern names by which we we categorize human body like cornet lollipop skittle vase pear brick column bell goblet cello apple and hourglass now these are all the five celebrities which have very different body shapes first of all let's discuss triangle a triangle shape has more visual weight at the base of the garment than the top a line triangle shape this gown silhouette tends to work well for every body type it is similar to the ball gown with a fitted chest and torso however the skirt is less full and dramatic the slight flare creates a flowing line from the torso to the floor or even body shape like a letter a now ball gown is also triangular this style of dress often associate with fairy tales is more suited to a formal suiting mermaid triangle the mermaid silhouette is designed for women who have curves that they want to accentuate it is fitted through the chest and torso to the knee at which point it flares out dramatically empire triangle dress 
This dress has a waistline which is raised to directly beneath the bust with a skirt that flares slightly from the raised waist down. This dress is particularly recommended for women who do not have a defined waist but is not recommended for women with a pronounced hourglass shape. Inverted triangle. Inverted triangle have more visual weight at top of the silhouette than at the bottom. Now these are the dresses which are all inverted triangular bodies. Rectangle shape is like a tube silhouette which has a drop waist and is very androgynous. These three dresses are rectangular shape. A sheet dress is rectangular. The sheet silhouette is used to refer to dresses that are form fitting from the bust through the length of the thighs. This is generally recommended for slimmer women who have gentle to no curves. Organic shape, cocoon. Most visual weight Then you have molded architectural jackets which are very masculine. There is this new rounded sleeve shape. Then we have design development where they are forecasting E-line skirts. Then we have flouncy hem skirts then minimalist skirts and tubular long dresses then we have modest maxi which is exaggerated a-line garment then we have kimono sleeve shirt dress which makes it very boxy now we have to summarize what all we learned in the chapter we learn shape and form as an essential element of fashion design. Then we categorize different form and different shapes. Then we also understood human body shapes and impact and effect of shapes on human body. And in the end, we understood the shapes in trend forecast. 
Now it's time for exercise. Now research on modern fashion silhouettes inspired by organic and geometric shapes and document it in your design journal or make a PowerPoint presentation. See sample to understand. Here you have a circle and there are three different dresses which are inspired by a circle. Then you have a square and you have interpretation of square into three different outfits. Then you have a triangle and three outfits drawn out of it. Then you have organic shape and the interpretation of it into costumes. Exercise 2. Research shape trends. See sample to understand. These are cocoon coats. Then you have full A-line shape. Then you have fluid maxi dresses. The sculpted jackets. That asymmetrical cord skirt. In the end, these are four videos where designers are getting inspired by different shapes and they are creating garments. Very, very important learning videos. Hope this presentation added information to your fashion knowledge. I would request you to kindly subscribe to the channel for more educational videos on fashion and also press the bell icon for notification. Thank you.